Welcome to English Lecture Notes. Today we came up with a literature topic. That is, characterization of Mrs. Nora Helma. Nora is the protagonist of Henrik Ibsen's play, A Doll's House. She is a true representative woman of Victorian era. Throughout the play, now let's have a detailed discussion. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram and do subscribe our YouTube and Telegram channels. Now let's start our discussion. Nora in a Doll's House Nora is the most interesting character in the play. Ibsen, however, has carefully constructed Nora. If you wanted to know the complete biography of Ibsen, Watch our video. I have left the link in description box. Nora is the central character in A Doll's House, on whom the play revolves around. She lives like a doll in a doll's house, and her character serves as a symbol for every oppressed woman who is restricted from living a free life. Nora is wife to Torvald Helmer, Nora's husband. Torvald delights in his new position at the bank, just as he delights in his position of authority. As a husband, he treats Nora like a child, in a manner that is both kind and patronizing. Nora and Torvald have three children, whose names are Eva, Bobby, and Emmy. At the beginning of the play, Adol's house, Nora seems completely happy. As the play begins, she appears preparing Christmas with full hope. She appears as a naive child, who lacks knowledge of the world outside her home. Nora is a cheerful woman who enjoys her life. As we see her in the beginning, celebrating Christmas with acute enthusiasm, she is a sympathetic woman who also cares about subservient. She brings a gift for her maid on the occasion of Christmas, which shows that she is a good human being by nature. Nora Helmer spends most of her life as a doll. Helmer treats her as a child. Before her marriage she was controlled by her father and after marriage by husband. For Helmer Nora is his personal property. She is squirrel in Skylark for Helmer. He does not view. Nora is an equal but rather as a plaything. Or all to be teased and admired. She spends most of her life in a dream world. In most of her life, she is frustrated by the fact that others believe she is a spendthrift. When Helmer finds her involvement in forgery, he curses her. This was the first experience for Nora, and she became frustrated. Nora's mind filled with guilty of her husband's pride. She tries at her best to solve the problems of her life. Nora is guilty of committing forgery, an innocent mistake. She commits in her desperation to save her husband from his illness. Last part of the play shows that Nora understands the fact that her understanding of herself was wrong. She came to the conclusion that she can no longer be happy in her marriage. A sudden courage and enlightenment originates in her life. 
she boldly refuses by saying i am no longer prepared to accept what people say and what is written in books nor is climactic transformation into a mature bold courageous and independent woman forms a crucial part of her personality when she realizes that her husband is not the protector or savior he claimed himself to be she opens her eyes she immediately gives up playing the role of his little doll she realizes that she has been dreadfully wrong first by her father and then by Torvald she decides to leave the house to fulfill her duty to herself to gain experience to develop her own personality and to understand the world she lives in she thus represents the right of every woman to personal freedom and identity and breaks the stereotype that a woman's only duty is towards her children and her spouse Nora represents the newly empowered woman who boldly escapes from the clutches of her old life. She puts life in between conventional morality and individual life of a human being in society. She is developing a character and she evolves into a strong individual at the end of the play. This study identifies how Nora who we notice at the beginning of the play as a naive and submissive woman changes herself into an outspoken autonomous and unyielding human being it also attempts to highlight nora's numerous struggles against the patriarchal hegemony of the society and how these struggles contribute to developing in her a sense of progressive self-awakening which eventually shapes her self identity as an independent woman and self discovery if you find this video informative please like and subscribe our channel thank you for watching